Hi, I'm Christian and I'm the man behind the Hepster Lab. Uh, I've been mostly posting videos about uh, Ecol Volkswagens and Porsches and so on. Uh, and the past winter I had in mind to build myself a Viking helmet, among other things. I also, the past winter, made this uh, Bolzano type helmet. Which is uh, basically a copy from uh, 1300s Knights. And in this video, uh, my goal was to uh, try to explain a little bit about how I shape the uh, water pieces for the Viking helmet. This is, uh, I start from a 1.5 millimeter sheet metal that I have. Uh, cut and pre-shaped just like flat steel. Now this uh, pattern I just uh, basically worked out from my base from the helmet that I made already about a month ago, which will be like basically like this, together with the paste piece I already also almost finished. And from this uh, base rim I uh, took some measurements and made some templates to get to the, the height of the dome, which gave me some kind of measurements to figure out a template. Um, I, uh, but now I need uh, four pieces of these. And they are not really symmetrical, but uh, they will be, uh, two pieces will be basically similar in the diagonals. Uh, so, first of, all, first of all, I have marked all the pieces, which one is down, just to keep, to remember what way I need to put them, and also mark them uh, left and right and front and back. Uh, the first step I, I work with is, uh, oh, and uh, I use traditional wooden box to work with. It's, a, it's basically cut from a birch. On one side I have a, more, a little bit shallower buck and on the other side a little bit deeper. And then I also have this smaller domed piece, which I need to uh, uh, even out some wrinkles when I shrink the edges. And the first, first thing I do is to just work around the edges to make them a little bit curving inside. Just to curve them inside. I work all around the edges and when I've finished all around and, and I'm pleased with it then I start to work more more towards the center but all the time ro rotating the piece now you already see it's getting a little bit more bent and also the edges are just working around the edges and now I can start to work in the in the smaller buck just to force it even more curved. Now you already see it's getting even more more curved and also a little bit wavy in the edges. These edges I straighten with the smaller buck when they get, they get too big. But I can also fix them just with a little bit buck here. And they, the wave is a little bit smaller already. Now, I've now all the way. 
So now all you have to turn the back upside down to get to the deeper back. And continue from the edges like I did before, working. At this point I can compare this uh, right, hand, right hand side uh, back piece with the, the left side front piece because these should be quite similar. And now we can see there's still a little bit difference. Also on the curves there's some more, some more to work with in all three edges. But I have to shrink the wavy edges a little bit now before I start working, continue with the work. And I just find the perfect curve and take this smaller hammer, shrinking hammer, and work around the wave a little bit. Just to straighten out the waves a little bit. Also, can hammer from the inside. Just move them out. And the next side. And then I also fix it a little from the inside. Then I think. This is the last, yes. And now when I have straightened those edges up a little bit, I can continue working on the, the deep drop. Deep. Now I check against the light to see if there's any low spots that need that needs a bit more a bit more hammering. Yeah. Getting closer. Now I have to hold Compare again, just to see how far off it is, same side, sizes, curve getting closer, pretty well actually, and then I compare now I have to take the the piece to get the edges to see if they are the same curve all around. Pretty much, yes. Yeah. yeah. And then I can take the domed buck again. Let's see now if it's a, at least a little close to what. Now I think I need to make a little deeper in the dome still, in the center. Some more stretching in the center. And I have to turn this one because it's a little bit more curved on this side, so I better to work on this.
think it's getting well. Now, that's the bottom piece. Right. The length is already quite well. Good. So the other side. And also this one. Just a little bit of waviness there. I have to just fix that. On the bottom part edge and I just hammer it from the inside. Now I think I'm happy with the raw finish, the raw shape. I have to just make the final final shape when I start to refit the water pieces to the to the head to the bottom ring. But I have to finish all four pieces before I do that. Thank you for watching.